please read this disclaimer carefully before proceeding further. Hello traders, let's look at currency pairs this week. Uh, thanks for joining me in this analysis. We'll start with DXY as usual. And uh, if you haven't actually seen my analysis on DXY alone, then go and check it out. I've already posted it. it uh, the DXY analysis this week is has little twist to it. It has more educational stuff in there. So make sure that you um, check it out. And um, um, I'm pretty sure that you'll find it very, very interesting. And if you do that, make sure that you hit the like button on there and share with other traders as well. So I'm not going to repeat the entire thing here, um, but these are the levels that we are looking at. And the way we read the arrows is like, you know, we look at these levels as potentially uh, reversal opportunities or profit target opportunities. Or in other words, you can call them as like, you know, they probably act as support and resistance. They are not actually support and resistance. And how I came up with these levels, you can find them out in DXY analysis. Okay. so. We know that, you know, uh, we are looking for bullish opportunities on DXY more rather than like, you know, bearish opportunities, even though we have trading plan for both sides. So now we are looking for bullish opportunities on DXY. There are more chances of DXY actually um, going upwards than going downwards. If that is the case, then Euro USD um, should go down as well. And as you can see, that market has started to fall from that level, which we found in last analysis and now it is turning towards like you know this sort of level where we have bought a cluster moving average so we are expecting market to come to this sort of level ultimately and we see that market created this consolidation after a huge move and market broke through that this is simply a retest of that consolidation which is happening right now so i'm not expecting you know usd to go any further like you know and if it does then it will have to go through a lot of barriers in the market here other reason is that if i go to the weekly time frame we can see that we have a w pattern here which basically means that market is expected to go down you can clearly see that market is like you know turning bearish and it is trying to reach this level of 1.15990 same near about that level it can actually fall a little bit further down between that moving average and this one so this is what we have in terms of bias on euro usd okay so we are looking for more bearish opportunities on friday i uh, posted this idea that market was going to fall from an fcp zone here right here and it actually started to fall from there by the way if you are not uh, there in the telegram group or telegram chat room then you are missing out make sure that you are there because um, this weekly analysis is just one time but i still share my analysis and trade ideas on telegram as well so this is uh, what i shared Okay, on Telegram, uh, this is what I shared that market came to was coming into this FCP zone. There were two FCP zones that I found out and these were like, you know, looking for a, a day trade sort of opportunity. So this FCP zone market came into and our water indicator also suggested that market was going to go down and this actually started to happen. It just it touched the water cluster moving average and it started to go down and gold similarly uh, also fell from fcp zone and euro usd fell down pretty deep actually and it gave us uh, the profit targets the predefined profit targets that we had this was nice um, traded opportunity towards the closing of uh, the week uh, so this was on friday uh, we do not have that trade open anymore so if you're not there then um, the address is below uh, you can go and check it out um, and join us there so the market is falling right now um, and if you are interested in short term opportunities then you can notice that there is FCP pattern available here. We have a W pattern available here. If you are interested to learn more about FCP patterns then you can check out um, uh, our, uh, our training program. More details are available in the description. So we have this FCP pattern which is basically quantified W pattern and if it comes here then we are going to look for a short position once again. There is another one which is appearing here but for that to happen it will have to go through this cluster of moving averages and if it reaches somewhere around 8100 sorry 18100 or maximum 18200 around that level then we'll look for a short position if you're looking for long then you will have to go through this level 
Okay, so in terms of trading plan, let's do this. Okay, so this is the last week's analysis. We came up with two FCP zones here. One was this, other one was that. The market never actually broke through this. The market kept down on the on the um, over the weekend, and then it actually kept on falling from that FCP zone. So this, so this turned out to be very very good trade, very good swing trading trade, and uh, uh, the market has been falling since. So what do we do? Let's remove this and go to the weekly time frame and let's see what has been happening okay on weekly time frame the market can come to this level where we have our moving average okay so near about that level is expected then we have this level as well and if I draw fib on this then this automatically lines up with 38.2 which is very nice and then we have this as well okay so we are looking for and another level here so if i just remove all of this and go to the daily time frame right now we are struggling with this level of 1.629 if that is broken then we are obviously looking for the next one so this is these are the levels you see that you know this automatically lines up with water cluster moving average and this is what i meant like you know if you are doing the analysis properly then market will tell you where it wants to go automatically lines up with moving averages and fibonacci levels and structure levels automatically so this is what we are looking for and in terms of uh, the bullish target if the market starts to move upwards then we are looking for something like this level which is right there and somewhere around here yeah okay and if i draw fib on here yep perfect okay so this is a very good this will turn into a very good fcp zone if the market reaches there um but for now what we are going to look for is so this is fcp zone So if the market breaks through this then we are looking for these levels to be reached and if it starts to move upwards then we are looking for these sort of levels so there are conditions around it and once it has reached that fcp zone then we are going to look for short entry and there'll be updates later on like you know because the market conditions can change at any moment in time but these are the levels that we are um, looking for uh, in the next week so that's euro usd hope you enjoyed this hope you found this useful if you did hit the like button and share it with other traders and trading communities as well okay let's move on to aud usd aud usd fell from our fcp zone very nicely and it will keep on moving until it reaches this level but there is one thing which is happening right now if i just remove this <clears throat> so this fcp zone is still valid okay there is one thing happening right now which is this m pattern and if i measure this market can actually start to move upwards a little bit so if you're looking for short term trade or day trading or even for swing trading then market could be like you know going upwards into uh, this sort of area so somewhere around here it can come into and if it actually breaks through that then we're looking for a little upward move the maximum it can go is up to this so if i draw fib on this we're looking for somewhere around here okay so this is what we have and you will see that market is also creating a W pattern. So if this level is broken, then we are looking for somewhere around here. So near about this level. So that's what we have on AUD USD. Let's look at GBP USD. On GBP USD, the market actually uh, reached the upper FCP zone unlike uh, euro usd and aud usd it reached the upper fcp zone then started to fall down and then it came back into this fcp zone and that has been and it has been start uh, it has been falling down so what's happening let's remove this go to the weekly and you will notice that market is kind of struggling with these moving averages right now and if i go to the monthly time frame this is what's happening okay it's very very interesting um, with GBP USD. 
it is showing the signs of being bearish but it is actually bullish um, so if I draw you see it came to 38.2 very nicely and then now it is struggling with this as well so if I just remove this and go to the weekly time frame Okay, so it's stuck between these two levels right now. You'll see that market is probably going to create a W pattern here. But I will draw your attention to this little gap which has been left there. Okay, so this is why GBP USD can be bullish. So, but remember, like now the gaps may or may not get filled immediately. Um, if you remember, Euro USD cap got filled after three years in. August 2020 so there may uh, there may be a chance that market just keep on going down and it may come like you no know, after a few years or even decades to fill this gap but what we can see here is that market could be creating um, a pattern here uh, which is a FCP pattern here so if it starts to move upwards so if it actually breaks through this then the next level we are looking for is this one and then this one and then this one okay so these are the levels that we are looking at and on the bearish side of things if i just remove this okay because the market is also creating an fcp fcpm pattern here so if i measure this this is the level that I'm looking for so if the market starts to fall from where it is right now I'm expecting it to come down to this level and if that is broken then the next level and if that is broken then the next level so this is what we have on GBP USD hope you enjoyed this hope you found this useful right if it is useful let me know right in the comment section let me know that it was useful or like you know, if you have any other idea on GPP USD. Let's look at USD CAD. USD CAD, what was there? Okay, on USD CAD, I have removed the analysis, but it is kind of like you know doing what GPG D sorry DXY is doing. If you're interested in like you know um, finding more about USD CAD levels, like then you can go and check out the previous week's analysis. Um, but right now, um, this is simply forming an NFCP W pattern you can see that there is a W pattern forming right now but I must also bring to your attention that the market is creating possibly creating a head and shoulders and if that happens then USD CAD is going to fall further down and if that happens then it can impact DXY as well so be careful with this okay usd jpy um usd jpy okay um yeah so on usd jpy we had two trades one was uh, bearish like you know from here to this level which we identified and then we were looking for a long position which we did um and then um, I personally did not trade USD JPY because I do not trade JPY pairs very often but this turned out to be a very good opportunity from here to all the way to this place so we still have the same kind of thing happening we also we have a W pattern so I'm expecting it to come somewhere around here where we have these moving averages so if the market actually breaks through this level here of 105.495 then we are looking for 105.574 and on the bearish side of things if the market actually breaks through this then we're looking for the next level to be here okay so if i just remove that and remove this and what we need to do is look at those levels okay right now um yeah so it can go up there or it can go down here we'll have to wait for the market to open and if it starts moving then we have these levels to look for that's usd jpy okay um usd chf usd chf what's happening there is that it is just about to actually leave the fcp zone it did 
but then it came back into fcp zone so this is still valid all of these levels are still valid and if the market actually starts to go higher again then we are looking 493.749 okay so that's what we had on usd chf okay so that actually concludes our analysis on uh, currency pairs hope you enjoyed this if you did you know what to do okay and if you're interested in training program then you can find that uh, in the description of this video a new group tuition or a new slot is almost available right now so if you're interested then go and uh, um, register your interest in there okay so have a great trading week next week and i'll see you in my telegram group thank you if you are interested in learning how to analyze the markets the way I do using Fibonacci Confluence, then head over to Vikinsa.com and under training section, you'll be able to see core strategy training program. On this page, you'll be able to see the testimonials of previous students and also uh, look at the brochure. The brochure has a lot more information, including the course structure and the Fibonacci Confluence training program curriculum. This is a very extensive program in which we cover basic core Fibonacci concepts along with the advanced concepts to analyze the markets with high probability. If you're interested in joining this program, come to vikinsa.com and under training section, you'll be able to see and submit this form.